Chapter 1, Lesson 7, Constant Rates of Change. You will be able to identify constant rates of change involving tables and graphs. You can use a table to find a constant rate of change. The table shows the amount of money a booster club makes washing cars for a fundraiser. Use the information to find the constant rate of change in dollars per car. That tells me that dollars comes first or money comes first. Okay, so we want to know the change in dollars over the change in cars. And we want to know the constant rate of change. It's all about change. So let's look at our dollars. What is the change from 40 to 80, 80 to 120, 120 to 160? My change is positive 40. So the change in dollars is 40. The change in cars go in the same direction is plus 5. 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 plus 5 is 20. So 5 would be the change in cars. To find the constant rate of change, Simply divide. 40 divided by 5 is 8. So the constant rate of change is $8 per car. It's very similar to finding the unit rate, only this time in this lesson we will have tables and graphs to help us find that unit rate. Letter B. The table shows the number of miles a plane traveled while in flight. Use this information to find the approximate constant rate of change in miles per minute. So we want the change in miles over the change in minutes. Let's take a look at miles. Well, I can't do this math in my head. To find out how far away 290 is from 580, I simply do subtraction. So 580 minus 290. So it's increasing by 290. That's the change in miles. Now the change in minutes. 30 to 60, 60 to 90, 90 to 20 means it's going up or increasing by 30. Divide those out. Use a calculator. Two ninety divided by thirty looks like nine point six repeating. However, it says approximate. Whenever it says approximate, it generally is looking for a whole number. So I'm going to say nine point six is close to ten miles per minute. So the, tra the plane travels approximately 10 miles per minute. And we should probably put the word about in here. It travels about 10 miles per minute. Letter C. The table shows the number of students that buses can transport. Use the table to find the constant rate and change in students per bus. So change in students over change in bus. Students. Again, I don't know what that is off the top of my head, so let's do some subtraction. And take your second number minus your first number. It looks like it increases by 72. So 72 is the change in the students. And the buses looks like it changes by 1, so the change in buses is 1. Divide it out to get 72, so 72 students per bus. Now let's take a look at some graphs. You can also use a graph to find a constant rate of change and to analyze points on the graph. So if we take a look here, 
The graph represents the distance traveled while driving on a highway. Find the constant rate of change, then explain what 0, 0 and 160 represent. So here's what we need to do. We need to find two points on the graph. There are several pointed out to us. It does not matter which two you pick. I will choose point 160 and point 2120. So now, what I'm going to do, I want to go from that point to that point. I'm going to travel up and over. And we need to figure out, well, how much up, how much over. So this point is at 60, and the other point is at 120. We want to know, always the y-axis first, the change in miles over the change in hours. Well, the change in miles is from 60 to 120, which would be positive 60. And to find hours, it looks like this point is at 1. And this point is at 2. So the change in hours from 1 to 2 is 1. So the rate of change is 60 miles per hour. That's only the first part of the question. The second part says, then explain what 0, 0 and 160 represent. So let me start you off with 0, 0. So 0, 0 represents 0 miles traveled in 0 hours. Therefore, making 160 represent 60 miles traveled in one hour. So here is your hour, here is your mile. And I know that because we've got our 60 miles and our one hour. 60 miles, one hour. Letter B. Use the graph to find the constant rate of change in miles per hour. So again, change in miles over change in hours. Um, so in miles per hour while driving in the city. Then explain what the point 0, 0 and 130 represent. So I'm going to pick two points again, and I'll just choose the first two. Doesn't really matter which. I'm going to go from this point to that point. It looks like this one is at 30. And this point is at 60. So from 30 to 60, our change in miles is 30. Our time, we've got 1 following down and 2. So from 1 to 2 is 1. Divide, and you would get 30 miles per hour. Again, only the first part. We then need to explain what 0, 0 and 130 represent. Very similar to the last one we just did. 0, comma 0 represents 0 miles traveled in 0 hours. 130 represents this time 30 miles traveled in 1 hour. And that's the other part of our answer. Letter C. 
The table and graph below show the hourly charge to rent a bicycle at two different stores. Which store charges more per bicycle? Explain. So charges per bicycle. We are looking at the change in cost, the charge, over the change in hour. Okay. So this should actually say, that looks like a typo here, this should actually say um, per hour, not per bicycle. That's all right. So here we go. Our change in cost for pedals rentals is going up by 12. And our change in hour is going up by 1. Which leaves our rate at $12 per hour. With super cycles, looks like we have a point going from here to here. Oops, a little off. And we've got it on 8 and 16. So the change between 8 and 16 is 8 and the change in hours if we go down we've got 1 and 2 so the change in hours is 1 which means $8 per hour so looking at these two costs which store charges more per hour well $12 an hour versus $8 an hour we would say pedals, rentals, charges more per hour because they charge, let me scroll this down a little, they charge $12 per hour, whereas the other place is called Super Cycles, only charges eight dollars per hour. Now this doesn't have to be the exact wording that I have but generally you need to tell them which one charges more and why. And I know that pedal, char pedal rental charges more because they charge 12 versus super cycles that only charges eight.